Barn, who's helping me with the YouTube stuff, said you got to do a vest dump, which I'm assuming is like a purse dump or whatever you call it. But anyway, she said, uh, I'll show everybody what's in your turkey vest. It's uh, probably not the stuff in there that you would think, but I'm going to show you anyway. First thing I always grab, it's not on my vest, but it's around my necks, binoculars. Small pair of compact binoculars. And uh, I know that seems like a lot to take, and I'm kind of a lightweight guy because I'm already heavy, but I don't go without binoculars. I've had this vest forever. This is the Bob Dixon edition vest, and uh, I get a little tore up talking about him. But I've had this vest a long time, and it just fits me perfect. And you'll see there's no cushion on the back. I pretty much carry my cushion with me all the time, so I don't really like a floppy cushion. I can sit down anywhere. I got one slate, and it is slate slate. It's not glass. And the reason I like slate is because once I get it sanded, I don't even have to look at it anymore. I don't have to have it cut in a certain direction like glass or anything like that. And I don't use it a lot. I use it if I get bored or if I'm sitting with somebody who wants to sit there for a while. But I do carry one slate. This has custom striker pockets up here. I carry one, one striker. I like that because you can cut loud on imagine that. And then the other striker pocket, I got some repel insect repellent. Now that may not be a big deal to you, but uh, it's a big deal down in this part of the world. This inside pocket right here, little camo face paint, because at some point somebody's going to forget their head net. And sometimes, you know, depending on where we're at, I paint up underneath my eyes, even with the head net on. So I got to, I carry one of those. A tiny, tiny little brownie flashlight. Doesn't put off a lot of light, but that's on purpose. But it comes in handy for opening gates, you know, stuff like that. Fooling around in the dark, it doesn't cast a big bright beam. I mean, you couldn't trail a deer with it, but it's perfect for, you know, early morning turkey hunting stuff. And the older you get, the more you'll need that light. Shells right here don't have any on me right now. All right, other inside pockets on the top one. This right here is indispensable. It's a tiny, small, browning saw, folding saw. Doesn't weigh much, it's not big. It fits in that pocket real well. And at some point during the year, when I get frustrated, I'm gonna be building a blind for somebody. Other bottom pocket, shears. First person I ever saw using these were Will Primos. And uh, I hadn't went without them since then. Clipping a little stuff out of the way, stick it in front of you. That's just a given. You got a turkey vest, you got one of these. Uh, my box call pocket on the front, bottle of water. No, I don't carry a box call, but I do carry a bottle of water. That one probably needs to be changed out. That's left over from last year. Uh, two little pockets up here, and I can promise you, everybody carries these, and I'm pretty sure I carried them all last year and never used them, never touched them. That's an, uh, that's an owl call and a crow call. And for whatever reason, I hardly ever use them. Inside pockets. This one up here, on the strap, I got it attached with a lanyard. That's mouth calls. I carry two or three different mouth calls. They're all the same. These are all true doubles and true double twos. I use stack calls. The only reason I carry more than one is in case I leave one laying on the ground, and that happens a lot. But I like the lanyard attached to this so I can grab it and put it back in there. Also on that pocket, head net and gloves. High-risk gloves that come all the way up in case your shirt pulls up like that. And I like these old-style Quirker Boy head nets with a wire mesh on them. I got a really big head, and they, they stay fit real, real good, so... That, I can't be without that. Matter of fact, one time I bought a dozen of these and I, I just put them up in there. So gloves and head net on that side for the main thing. This is the tube call. You may have heard of my tube call. It's, uh, I don't even know how to explain to you how important that is. One time I went hunting and forgot it. And I lived in Natchez, Mississippi and I was past Fayette, which was 28 miles. And I turned around and went back and get it. That's how important it is to me. And everybody laughs at it, shakes their head. To me, it's my security blanket. It's a locator call. It's really loud, and that's all I use it for, is locating. Do a quick cut. I'm telling you, turkeys will gobble 
at that when they won't gobble at nothing else. This pocket right here is I'm assuming is for another box call or something and I carry extra reeds for my tube call. Those are silicone reeds, they don't make them anymore. Hey, big news, big news. If you ever follow me, you understand I'm always worried about my tube call reeds because there's a certain kind, Primo's had them for years, and the difference in that tube call and the other ones was it snaps on, it snaps on. You don't have to lay the latex over and get it right. Well, they quit making them, so I had me a big bag, and each year that bag gets smaller and smaller and smaller, so I kept them in a, like a pill bottle. But now, thanks to Jimmy and Will, they're bringing it back. They're calling it the Foggy Bottom Snuff Tube, but if you look right there, that's the clear silicone reed that snaps on. To me, that's like winning the lottery. As soon as I get to NWTF, that's where they'll have them. I'm going to go get me another big bag of them clear reeds, put them in my fridge, and I'm set. All right, so that's it on the front. Let me show you what's in the back. This one has a great pocket on the back. And in the mystery pocket, extra gloves, extra head net, because at some point, Somebody's forgetting theirs. Happens every day. It may happen opening day. It may happen midway through the season. But at some point, I'm going to guide somebody's like, hey, you got gloves? You got head nets? I got them. Thermosail. I'd rate that tied for number two right behind the tube call and the binoculars. If you hunt anywhere in the south, and I guess anywhere, but when it gets warm, thermosail, big time. Do not leave home without that. I also carry extra pads and extra fuel for the thermosail. And the number one thing, I don't I don't know if it's right up there with the tube call, but it's close. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. It's a big deal. So anyway, don't leave home without that. Bottom line is, is I've been carrying the same stuff for years. I don't vary very much from that at all, depending on who I'm with. But you know, the main thing is get your stuff out, go through it, kind of get fired up, get in the spirit, because I promise you, getting ready is half the fun.